One year from today, November 8th, 2016, the nation will elect a new president. The long road to the White House has a very busy week ahead. Democrats debate on Saturday on CBS. Republicans debate before that on Tuesday. With new details emerging about Ben Carson and Marco Rubio and new jabs from Donald Trump. More now from Juliana Goldman in Washington, D.C. There's no question I'm getting uh, special scrutiny. Making the Sunday show rounds, Ben Carson defended himself against a string of reports poking holes in his personal tale of a troubled kid turned acclaimed neurosurgeon. You know, for people that try to take this and twist it and make it seem like something dishonest, uh, seems like dishonesty itself. The Republican presidential candidate spent last week deflecting questions about whether he truly was a violent child as claimed and whether he was offered a full scholarship to West Point. Over the weekend, the Wall Street Journal said it couldn't corroborate stories Carson told in his 1990 autobiography about his years in high school or at Yale. Every single day or every other day or every week, you know, they're going to come out with, well, you said this when you were 13 and you did this. You know, he's going to have to explain a lot of things away. With Carson surpassing Donald Trump in some polls, on Sunday, the billionaire businessman said the questions are fair game. When you, when you write in a book that you have pathological disease, pathological disease is not cured. And maybe it's right and maybe it's wrong, but those are pretty tough charges. Trump's a racist. <laughs> it's Larry David. What are you doing, Larry? Trump made light of his own criticisms appearing on Saturday Night Live. I heard if I yelled that they'd give me $5,000. <laughs> As a businessman, I can fully respect that. Meanwhile, on Saturday, Marco Rubio, who has been inching up in the polls, released two years of missing charge card statements from his years as a state legislator. Trump and other GOP rivals have hit the Florida senator over his messy finances, saying he irresponsibly used his state party-issued American Express card for political and personal spending. The campaign says from 2005 to 2008, Rubio spent $182,000. $22,000 were personal charges. Personal expenses that the campaign has identified include $3,800 on tiling for Rubio's home. Rubio says he pulled out the wrong card. Jeff, the campaign says that Rubio paid American Express directly for those personal charges and taxpayer funds were never used for any of the expenses. Juliana Goldman, thank you very much.